Hello everyone and welcome to the Viola Playground. I am Viola's Young Ching Choi and today's topic is Handel Casadesu's Viola Concerto. Let me first talk about the background story of this piece. In early 20th century, Henry Casadesu wrote in his letter that he found a viola melody by Handel and he added um, the bass line and orchestration. In the beginning, the whole viola world was thought it's a new discovery. However, nobody actually found the physical evidence that Handel wrote that melody. And because of that, these days, it is regarded as Hen um, the Henry Casadesus wrote the entirely whole piece with some attribution of Handel's melody. That being said, I am not playing this piece entirely Baroque style because I also think it is also Casadesus' work and he is from early 20th century, so it's way later, even later than Romantic period. So my musical um, interpretation is because of that somewhat Baroque and somewhat beyond that. For example, I'm gonna show a lot more lines than actual Baroque style, but also I'm gonna have some short articulations that fits very to the Baroque style. In addition to that, because this piece is written almost everything in 16th notes, I'm gonna show you slow tempo first, and then I will also explain what I'm doing with fingering wise, bowing wise, musical wise, basically everything I'm gonna discuss with you. And after that, I play also in fast tempo, and all of them will be section by section. position because as you see in the beginning we have the A sharp and of course the easiest way to play this A sharp and we have B in between so you can play one 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 like that but in slow tempo that's totally fine but what about if we play fast tempo that can lead to have a lot of sliding sound like like that and we won't have clear articulation even though we are not doing spiccato like i mean it's up to you actually but i am not doing spiccato here because i want to have volume sound and a little bit bigger lines so but still, I want to have clear articulations, so because of that, I don't want to have slight sound at all. So that's why I am going to... And then go to the first position once again. Like that. And also, um, because... I am basically, with this one, I am following the contour. The contour is the pitch line, whether the pitches go up or down. And I totally follow that direction. If the pitch goes up, I am doing little crescendo. And if pitch goes down, I am doing diminuendo, like that. <laughs> Mildly 
and release. Did you watch my um, The Christmas Wonder from The Crystal? So that grab and release technique I am using here. Of course, I'm not doing that much because I want to have a little bit round the sound. But still the principle is the same. Round, open, open, scoop. Okay? So basically that's the whole idea. And then let me play from here. It's basically all whole movement is going down motion. I change the voice. 
because it is C string. And then mood changes and also articulation changes. Okay? 